thanks again for uh, joining me on this, this call. Uh, you know, always a pleasure talking with you. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but you know these conversations. I believe is very important. You know, it is. It is. It's like everything else, man. Like everyone in the industry, in the barn, is very important. From the hot walker to the groom to you know everyone, farrier, gallop boys, vets. You know, you know, it takes a whole team. Like I, I, I really got into Formula One racing. And I never knew that it take a thousand people plus to win a Formula One championship. I do we started to say that like three, four years ago. I was like, well, one thousand people. So, what got you into this Formula One racing, man? The adrenaline, the speed, the quick decisions. You know, the the rush, yeah. zero to one hundred real quick. You're definitely a speed junkie. <laughs> it's, it's true. It is true. Two hundred and fifty percent. You know, speed junkie. Two hundred and fifty percent. Man, it's. Yeah, no. I don't know. By the way. Huh? By the, by the way, man. Uh, just in case people are wondering where you at, you're not in jail. Where the hell are you? <laughs> in an airport, man. Not in jail, man. Like. <laughs> You know, we saw, you know, we saw the walls, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I'll be gonna be a really big guy if I was in jail on my cell phone doing an interview. But you know, people know you're gonna post it. They go like, "Who is this guy?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the beard you got going there, man. Yeah, I do got a beard going there. Do got you know? That's the kind of time is coming in the winter, man. You know, but I keep a little more fluff and. That's right. That's right. But, but Jackie, um, you know, I'm happy to see you and um, just say, um, how are you feeling? I know you had a, a little bit of incident last week. How are you doing? Um, I'm back with it right now. The last two races of the day, I really had to, you know, put my big boy pants on and grind my teeth and just clench through it, man. You know, man. Um, pelvis was really bothering me. Um, from my spill last week, you know, it always bothers me from the time I hit the ground or, you know, have an incident in the gate or whatever, you know, it's just something I got to live with. Um, but after that nasty spill last week, you know, um, it really shook me up. But I got some unfinished business that I had to attend back to and I had to find some way somehow to climb back on the pony. And thanks to God and, you know, at the barn. I mean, I've been riding for 19 years now, and Paul Barr and Tim Ham, the grooms, the assistant, the hot walker, the everyone, when I came back to the barn three days after my spill, they all came and took time out to start what they were doing and, greet, and greeted me in the office. I started crying, and I thought it was pretty, 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 pretty cold in a good way, not cold in a bad way. Like I said, I've been riding 19 years. I have people check on me, but I never had something like that happen. So the whole barn stopped what they're doing and came and greeted me to make sure I was okay. You know, I guess makes me know I'm a huge part of the operation, you know? Yeah. Um, now, the funny thing about that um, was, you know, as I recall, I was watching your race and I was just congratulating you on the win that you had just before that race so i hear well here i am sending you the text the congratulations rocco can't wait to speak with you on the weekend and as i was saying it i see your horse started acting funny and then lo and behold i see you catapult off the horse in the ear and i was like oh no oh no and i had a sinking feeling i never had a feeling like that before pretty much for, for most things ever and it just hit me really really tough i was like oh no oh no and i just shut off the, the video i walked away and then back to my desk and i just said you know what let me see what's going on but i'll keep my fingers crossed and say a prayer for rocco but here you are you're good okay i appreciate that man it's you know it's, it's it's unfortunate it happened unfortunate we lost one of our equine athletes man and it's one of my close horses man and 
But I guess it shows to people that only see the glamours, the glitter, the good times. Like you see, you congratulated me. And 30 minutes later, I'm being transported to two different hospitals. You know? Um, so, for all the people that get to see the cherry side of it, I hope they see the really downside, it turn upside down really quick. Yeah. You know, guess like how I like it from zero to 100 um, with adrenaline. It, it, it went from the highs of the highs to the lows of lows. It don't get no lower than that, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, you got hard times. You go eight, nine weeks not winning. You know, that's hard times. But hard times is when you're on top, but then the next minute you're on the bottom. In a bad way. Just goes to show you, um, you know, the resilience of jockeys and, and what you guys go through, and also how, uh, how dangerous uh, things can turn in a split second. Um, so, you know, so I just want to say, man, um, I'm really happy again to see you back and writing. Uh, I know you, uh, you took, it looks like you guys did a good job of kind of getting you back you know, onto the, onto the track, you know, uh, not putting too much on you in one race, in one, sorry, in one day. Uh, so, and are you already uh, seem to be back in form? Yeah, thanks to my sister, uh, my boss. Um, they, uh, we have the pleasure to have a couple of Magna Wave machines. Um, um, I sit on those things for hours, hours, hours. And, you know, it took time out for doing our own horses, but they know they need a pilot back. And it was just a rapid, fast treatment to, you know, get me back so I could take a little more time off next week, a couple more days than what I took. But I guess I'm some unfinished business, you know, trying to get my boss back on top in the title standings. It will mean a lot to me and the barn and the crew for the longest <laughs> dedicated year we had. So. I guess had to find a way, we found a way, and I want to say thanks to all the people that checked on me, shout, shout out, you know, was concerned, keep me in the prayers, and I want to send a big shout out to my little cousin, Cindy, and her brother, Foreman, and, you know, they did some big part in my, you know, in my career and, and back, I mean, I mean, no matter where they are, my cousin, he's the head of Fence it, which is a, a, a place that put a fence in the Barbados. And man, where his phone could get signal or he could prop his phone up. My cousin's a nurse. I mean, she sneaks in some time between nursing and, you know, my family, like this is just two of my family that, that follows me religiously. That's not even my mom, my dad yet, or my aunties, or my uncles, or my, you know, other brother Barack, you know, Kyle, that, you know, I could go on with people that religiously watch me day in, day out, no matter which continent or part of the world I'm riding. They find a vantage point, as we say at home in Barbados, and they'll be, they'll be clued in, plugged, plugged in, locked in, however you want to break it down. I got a couple of American supporters here too, owners that are the same way. I got other extended family from Canada, Mark and Lonnie, they're always plugged in. And no matter where part of Canada they are, you know, my man Darwin, he's plugged in too. You know, he's a busy man too. But I just want to say thanks to all the people that helped me keep on pushing, pushing, and pushing forward, even in the down times. Yeah, most definitely. I know you don't have a lot more time before you uh, you board your, your next flight. I'm the gate, man. I'm, I'm facing my gate A56. And even from the last person, it's a full plane. And uh, and in a sleepy mode yet, and I can see if, if people start moving. So I think I think we're still good. They got a service dog there, and a lady, and I think they're on my same plane. So when I see that service dog and a lady leave, I think that'll be my cue. But I think I'm, we're good for right now for another wow. five or ten, as we say. You know, you know, we squeeze it in like our Beijing does it. You know. Yeah, that's a life. That's a lifetime. Five or that's ten minutes. Life. You know that. You know that's a lifetime, <laughs> man. <laughs> Hey look, is it safe to say now that you uh, you got the uh, the title at this or down all uh, wrapped up? Yeah, it's pretty safe. Only thing that's not safe to say the fat lady they sing yet, but 
as my cousins say, roll the red carpet, pop the champagne, and it, it's pretty safe to say it, it's in the bag. Number six. Uh, well, before anyone else do, I'll congratulate you. Um, you know, I congratulate you on a, a well-deserved um, second title at Thistledown. Well, thank and, you, um, thank you, Derek. Man, appreciate it. You, you took two trips, and it's huge, man. It's huge. You know, you saw a couple you know, of today. I gotta show love every time that people show love my way, you know, because I'm just here to tell the stories, you know. I'm just here to, you know, highlight a few people and uh, tell the stories, and, and and here we go, you know. You you you've been always awesome from day one, and um, you know, you extend the hand, I extend my hand too. Exactly. That's how I go. It goes the same way, man. I and I feel like since we connected together, like my career took off. I I've been riding better horses and. Uh, since I got contracted with Tim Ham, and you know, but I guess feel the energy was different. You know, like you put my name out there, you put our name out there, our team, Fun in the Sun. I mean, it gets feel like um, we've been climbing mountains. We had a couple setbacks and stuff, but we still here. You know, we still here, boys. Um, and then I, I, we just want to show you the love back to Derek, man. It's, it's, it goes down in hand, man. You scratch my oh. back, I scratch it back, and you give me a shirt, I'll give you a shirt too. Uh, that's right, that's how it goes, man. You know, it's Dark all, all good. Hat. I'm sorry not sported a hat today, but, you know, I'm trying to style with the curves and the, you know. <laughs> my barber stood me up today. My barber Ricky <laughs> from the on the jockey. Uh, he stood me up today, man. He was supposed to brush me up, but got a job done. Usually we got a, a thing. Whenever he cuts my hair, I win. I win a race for sure. But I think he was trying to shut me out today. Enough <laughs> <laughs> uh, respect to my boy Ricky from the Seattle man. That's my barber. It is so my name. When I go to Arkansas, Ricardo Santana is my barber. I'm all pretty hooked up in both circuits I ride on right now. I'm pretty blessed right now. So, so yeah. I, how, how how many more days at the um, at the track? Um, kiss it down. The big jack got four more days, man. Four more, four, four more days. Four more days. My boss is four behind, and we got eight runners in next week. <laughs> yeah, you know uh, that would be really special. You know, usually when the, the leading jockey um, and the leading uh, trainer connect, usually and that usually happens here and there. You know. Yeah, guess here and there. I, I made it. Um, what's the right word to say? I never ridden for the leading trainer or the leading um, owner in Emerald Downs when I won my three back-to-back titles. I probably made those years that the trainers that was leading, I think was playing right and Frank looked really. I think if I probably rode one winner a piece for those trainers the years I was leading rather. So it's, it's something different, man. Like you say, you do the leading rider, rides for the leading trainer, and that's how the title goes. But back in the days, um, it was a little different, man. You know, it's always the, uh, I think I just did something really great, which is, um, oh no, I, I was hearing a static, but I thought I had um, surprised myself and be technical on the system. But here we go again. It's all good, though. Uh, I want to ask you, um, I know people probably are wondering um, where you're heading next because you know it's, it's getting colder, and you know you're probably going to shift your tack somewhere else. But you know where are you heading next, man? <laughs> well, I'm heading Portland to see my kids. My daughter has a two soccer games this week. Uh, my son, he's looking forward. One of my two sons, he's looking forward to chefing out with me and cooking, and he's a really good chef. I think he, he's a, easy to say he's, he's a better chef than his mom. Um, he, he, he blows my mind. Both my sons, they could cook. And it's something amazing, man. I love cooking. Uh, on my, uh, me and my boy, we talk horses like 24-7, and he's been good to handicapping now. And it, it's to have a conversation about handicapping. And, you know, he's my daughter in the background cheering on, running wild like she always is. And... You know, and 
you know, something pretty special, man. And so I'm heading to Portland, Oregon, PDX, to see the family and and back to Tisto on Monday. I mean, Sunday night, the red eye, right? Every race on Monday, the card, right? Six races Tuesday, right? One race on Wednesday, and then I think I ride like three or four on Thursday, and hopefully the fat lady sings then. Yeah. And then after that, I'll be in, taking several more days off, going back and see the kids again, and back to Mahoney for opening day, um, October 19th. Ride there for like a month, and then head south to Arkansas. Yo, to see if Nancy he, Otis, or Paul Otis. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta say hello to Nancy for me. Oh. oh yeah, I sure will, man. I sure will. Do you look forward to uh, Arkansas? Well, every year I do. Every year, as long as I'm alive, as long as God keep me going till it's time to retire. That's going to be my winter spot. There's nothing or no one that could trap me away. What's going on there? Oh, they're boarding in Salt Lake City, not PDX yet. Guess how to take oh, a recheck, okay. you know, like, when you know they're coming to you, people on the arm, you know, how to take a rain check, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, you keep your eyes on the score because, you know, we don't want you to miss your, your flight, you know? Yeah, you know? Uh, and the kids are going to be sleeping by the time I get home, but the dogs and everyone will wake up because it's guess what I do. You know, I pop in late and pop back up on the red eye, you know, it's guess, you know, something I got to do to keep, you know, the family happy. Have this the year been um, uh, any special than any other year for you? I mean, you said your mom came and. Oh, for uh, sure. She was there with you with the uh, winning your, your stakes, right? Stakes race, right? Yeah, yeah. My very first stakes race, she saw me win in person. My son, you know, was here. Got in my first American win photos. Um, I had all three of my kids together. We went camping for four days. Um, it been a highlight of the year, man. Um, won on multiple horses three times or more. I just went my fourth time on Spellcast today. He's the leading horse in the meet. Um, we actually had a ding dong battle with a horse, the other horse that was lead, actually leading horse in the meet, and we kind of took him off his pedestal, his pedestal today and beat him by a nose. It was a nice race. Uh, again, one of my good friends in the room, Jose Baracho. We always, you know, we always not get into it, but we we we, we fake pranks. People think we get it during comes in my car. Oh, I'm sick of you. Could you get away from me? Uh, I went over to his side of town last night. The mountaineer is like, God damn, I'll call you again. So, <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's all off, man. You know, it's been a pretty highlight of the moment. You know, yeah. we played a lot of pranks in the jock room today. I got hit with shaving cream twice, but I shared it back. We, I shaving cream two guys and, and we plan to tie up my valley at the end of the meet and shave and cream him and put him in a in a paddock too. So it's all good good fun and sport, man. You know, last week Thursday wasn't so much so much fun. It, you know, it was more serious after being transported to hospitals. But I guess say God is great and we pulled through, man. Unfortunately, that yeah, point athlete didn't you know, rest in peace. But you know that's the way it goes, man. That's the way it goes. Oh. My boss told me after his numerous phone calls and you know, we can replace that animal, but we can't replace you, man. You know, people may think that's cold, but it's true. We can replace the horse, but we can't replace a human being or, or a jockey, man. It's just, it's just what it is, man. So I know some people may not like how I word that, but that's guess how it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, as as I say, that's real talk. But you know, sometimes it sometimes it has to sink in a little bit. Sometimes, you know. Yeah, when you hit the deck enough times, and people like trainers like my boss that you know um, wasn't the first, or probably it's not going to be the last time. You, you're gonna have to put down a horse, and uh, like you say, it has to sink in. You know, it's just we love and we care for our equine athletes. They're 
me and they're like family you know they said no jockeys can't touch the horses but that's not my rule that's not my motto i'm gonna touch the horses horses is all i know horses pay my bills horses keep my family afloat you know so i do get attached mm. and it, that's never going to change yeah yeah, yeah. <coughs> man uh you know, I, I, I was talking to a guy today and he was giving me flack about, you know, not drinking so much and so forth. And I told him I had about five beers for the entire year. And I was really happy that I had one with you when we were down in Barbados out in the ocean. <laughs> in the ocean, man. man. Brother Kev told us, let's see if he... We come here to catch fish or we come here to take photos of fish. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, that was, so I'm very special to feel that. Oh, okay, your five beers, we have one beer. A deputy. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. There, there's nothing wrong with that, man. That's, you know what that is? That's self-control there. The self-control. That's something a lot of people don't got. Especially we as Bajans, the self control. So I'll, I'll, I'll pat myself on the back for you, and you should too, and be proud, man. <laughs> self control, man. No, there's no disrespect or no shame in that, man. Yeah, well, you know, everything is for a time, you know, so there's a time for everything. I believe in that. Absolutely. Um, your flight almost there? I think so. Uh, we we could wrap it up at thirty minutes. You'd be at twenty seven. I don't hear the page okay. of me the last passenger yet. Um, okay. You know. Hey, I don't. I, I, oh, I wanted to ask you about you know you going to Montanera last night because you know I didn't realize that you were riding down there and when you hit me back and said that you in the you you're in the last race I you know I I checked it out and I was like holy crap. <laughs> You make some moves, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I was, I rode a really bad race in the last race. Um, I should have won. Let a horse up the fence. My boss was in the um, attorney's office, um, signing a check for twenty thousand. He's like, "Rock." I don't know what was harder, signing that check for twenty thousand or watching you let a horse up the fence. <laughs> so I, I had a plan to win both races yesterday and go in the one at Mountaineer. I win at two different tracks in one day already, but I never won road, like, win all my rides. I'm ridden at two different tracks. It was, I was trying to make it at a milestone, but it didn't happen. So, I gotta try again. Yeah, I, I, I'll be watching, and I hope that you can get it, pull it off. Uh, it'll be real cool if you can do it in three tracks. Oh, yeah. It'll be really cool if I do it in three tracks, man. It's all about setting records, setting standards, you know. Setting milestones. That's right, I, man. I, should, I think we should, I should start ahead that way. I see the crowd getting a little slim down there. So. All right. All right. Nice chatting with you again. We we gotta find a name for this one. Should we unveil the name tonight or tomorrow? Man, you, you decide, man. I don't know. You tell me. On the road again? Airport airport on the kill or airport on the road or I don't know. You come up with it. The last <laughs> one we had we had was road kill. I think it's something by the time you, I come off this uh this, this chat right now. All right. All right, man. Listen, respect, man. All right. Respect all the time and will to be continued, my brother. All right, man. You be safe out there now. I will be.